something's on your mind. Yes. Sleeping yes. soundly is usually a saying on your planet that people will reference as a symbol for having a clear conscience. Yes. They say, oh, I sleep like a baby. I have no problems. My life's good. Yes. So if someone can't sleep, usually there is a type of tension somewhere in them. It could be mental, it could be emotional, it could be spiritual, but it's likely there's something they're wrestling with. And whatever they're wrestling with is so interesting to them on some level for positive or negative reasons that they can't put it down. Put it down would be seen as a type of loss. Ultimately, whatever they're wrestling with, it's something they're trying to understand with the physical mind. But the physical mind is not the mind or level of mind needed to understand the conundrum, whatever it is they're dealing with. It is the spiritual mind that will guide them. But they resist on some level that guidance. They do not want to face what the guidance has to say. So sleep is usually resisted. And they try to use different levels of physical mind to solve the problem. So for this person, what we would recommend is a process of really opening up to spirit really opening up to the truth of the inner self, the wisdom of the inner self, really looking at one's life honestly and asking oneself, okay, what's working? What's not working? Where am I living in accordance with my values and where am I deviating from this? Okay, how can I make some amendments? How can I make some changes? How can I make some corrections? And should they start to ask those questions and honestly listen to the answers they give themselves They'll know what changes they need to make. And as they make the changes, they're going to find they sleep better. Because remember, if you do not live properly, you will not be able to sleep properly. Yes? And of course, if you do not sleep properly, you will not be able to live properly. What do we mean by that? You might live a very productive life, dotting your I's, crossing your T's on minimal sleep, on disrupted sleep. But inside the body, the organs, the cells, things are not at their optimum. Things are shaky. So poor sleep will lead to a poor quality life. Poor quality in the life will lead to poor quality in sleep. Yes. So have them look at their life. We know that may not be what they perhaps were expecting, but it will be the most useful. It's the first place to start, especially if the insomnia has an unexpected sudden onset. Yes. So ask them what kind of changes have happened in your life that you're having maybe a hard time adapting to. Are there mm -hmm. certain things in your life that are kind of rubbing you the wrong way that you feel maybe you'd resent a little bit or you oppose a little bit? Are there things that you find you're thinking about or don't want to be thinking about that dwell within you? Mm 